So, um, All right, whenever we get started, um, we are going to um, do the chamber updates first, and then um, we'll go into the highlights. So till then, if we can have everybody muted, um, so that doesn't um, interfere with what we're doing here. Thank you. And I think we're, we are now live on Facebook. Okay, Daryl, we have you, but we can't hear you or see you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hang me? On Facebook, please. I'm sorry. Would you tag me on Facebook, please? I um I already made it live. I don't know how to do that. Oh, um, but if you go to our page, if you go to our page, it's already okay. on there. Okay. You can actually you can actually share it from your page and do like a watch party on your on your. Gotcha. Page. Okay. Yes, um, Felicia, at the bottom you should see share. In the comments, you should see where you can share it. You just press the button and you'll pop on on your own page. Denise, I don't know why we don't have any video. Oh, wait a minute, how about that? Press that button. Boom, there we go. You're sideways. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I do it this way every week. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm sideways today. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. okay. So anyway, we'll turn we'll turn the phone that way then. Did we? All right. So now we better. Yes. Okay, Erica, we have you in as a panelist. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody on Facebook Live. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Erica. You're muted. Hi. Hi. Thanks for being here today with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Okay, great. So we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. We're waiting for more people to join on. Uh, we are on Zoom and Facebook Live. How's everybody doing today? Hello. <laughs> Wonderful. Inside my house. It's beautiful. <laughs> Everybody staying home for the most part. <laughs> Felicia, I love your background. I need to get that rather than uh, the back <laughs> of my bedroom. You must be very technologically savvy because I can't figure that out. You have to teach me how to do that. Okay, I, I don't mind teaching you. It's not hard at all. <laughs> okay. I can see everybody now. Two or yeah, three you're, gonna, you're not you're not sideways anymore. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. So I think we should go ahead and get started. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to our weekly webinar, um, uh, the state of your business by the Fort Worth Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we are doing these weekly webinars with different entities to try to bring our members and the community uh, the resources that they need during this time for their businesses and just everyday life. So um, for today, we're actually going, we're starting something new, which is highlighting um, businesses in the community and our members um, to try to help stimulate a little bit of um, business to them. So my name is Denise. I am the membership service director for the Fort Worth Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. I'm on with my coworker, Daryl Brewer, who we'll go into more details later. Um, so the, for, the beginning part will be just chamber updates, which um, the, there's not much, much update except for that we're having our weekly webinar and um, we're still helping our members with resources that they need for their businesses during this time. Any loans, grants, anything like that, how to access them, um, job listings, all that. Um, we do have a COVID-19 page on our website. So if you haven't seen that, please log on to our website. It's fwmbcc.org. 
Um, if you click on the COVID-19 banner on the homepage, it'll take you straight there. We also have a blog that um, tr we, we try to keep up with the most updated uh, information that's out there. As y'all know, all the information is ever changing every single day something new comes out or it's something different so we're trying to keep y'all informed as much as uh we're informed basically um i would i know that this uh, this is a difficult time for a lot of us and a lot of our businesses but um please make sure to be supporting your local businesses if you are going to be um getting some takeout or trying to get food try for it to be a local business and um um, over the the chain chain restaurants every once in a while, you know, uh, I know we love our Taco Bells or any other barbecue spots, but let's let's try to keep it in our community and so we can help these small businesses try to get out of this um, in one piece. So just something to think about. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and highlight our um, our uh, business for today. It is Jubes Smokehouse, Mr. Jubes. Um, you uh, let me go ahead and. Put you on the spotlight and you are ready to go mr jubes all right hey good evening and afternoon to everybody i am patrick juber uh, owner of jubes smokehouse we're located at 1900 south edgewood terrace here in uh stop six our specialty is obviously uh barbecue it's uh kind of got a creole slant to it so i, I can't take the uh, worldwide claim of being a, a texas uh smoke allergist i'm a I'm a stone cold Louisiana boy. Uh, I actually speak the language. I am sincere Creole. We uh, we specialize uh, rib, brisket, chicken, sausage. Um, it's pretty good stuff too. Uh, Brother Brewer has eaten here before, and I don't know how he stomachs it, but he does every time he comes. Uh, we do dirty rice daily, baked beans with uh, ground meat, uh, green onions, a little red pepper flakes in it. Um, we have uh, devil egg potato salad. Weekends, we do smoked cabbage, smoked green beans. Wintertime, we do uh, gumbo, uh, brisket. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm 50 now. I had a senior moment. Uh, brisket, beef stew, things of that nature. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, we're, we're small, but we, we try to serve as many as we can. Uh, those who might want to get us on the phone. Our number is 817-779-0235. And we, there's no order too small. There's no order too big. Uh, we do the big colossal potatoes. We do nachos. Uh, it's kind of, you know, what the menu looks like. It's pretty simple, nothing elaborate. Tuesdays are uh, our Chicken special days. Wednesdays the chopped beef special. Thursday sausage plate day. Friday is the chopped beef, potatoes, or uh, the big humongous nachos. So um, I'm here. We uh, we do desserts, uh, potato pies, Seven Up cakes, uh, lemon cookie pudding, which is homemade lemon pudding, and it's it's garnished with uh, lemon flavored Oreos. It, you just gain weight eating it. So. If you if you're looking to, to eat here and stay uh, sw uh slim and and surveil, well maybe not. When I started this place, I weighed a couple hundred pounds. I was really fine, but now I'm kind of really easy to find, you know, because uh, <laughs> I, I like eating. I, I, I'm a people person. I'm a people person. But we will we'll tell you, your, your first meeting with me, uh, we talk like we're friends, like like we're family, and. We treat people that way here at the smokehouse. You you come in to get something to eat, but you kind of get stuck just with conversation because uh, myself, my daughter, the co-owner, Tony, we're just regular old people. And uh, we we believe in this mantra. We can't treat everybody the same, but we can certainly treat everybody right. Our, uh, our main stay here, we, 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 we say our main hashtag is... Uh, we're making you smile with smoke. So anything that we can do that makes you happy uh, in terms of barbecue and cooking, we definitely do it. And uh, I, if, if it's one of those days I didn't bat a thousand, you tell me, I'll get it right for you because I believe customer service is the way to go. And uh, that's just kind of kind of who we are. So um, 
I don't know if you got any questions for me. I'm, I'm willing to answer whatever. So is asked for me. where are you, where are you located and what uh, do you, do you guys have any social media where people can go and follow you? Yes, we have, we have uh, two Facebook pages. Uh, J-U-B-E-S is one. The other is J-U-B-E apostrophe S. That's the other one is the regular friendship page. The other is the like page and we're Jube Smokehouse on Instagram. And uh, my kids have started us a Jube Smokehouse Snapchat thing. I have no idea. <laughs> Snapchat, I, I don't, I don't know what it does, but we're on, we're on Facebook. We're on, uh, we're on Instagram. Great. And where are you guys located? You 19, do, uh, 1900 South Edgewood Terrace. Uh, we're between Rosedale and Ramey. On the Rosedale side, I'm looking down there like y'all can actually see down there. Uh, on the Rosedale side, there is the uh, United States Post Office. On the Ramey side, there is the fire department, station number three, and there is uh, Boys and Girls Club. So we're, we're, we're actually two blocks from the Boys and Girls Club, two blocks from the uh, United States Post Office. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Jubes, Jubes Smokehouse. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us about your business. And um, we hope that you're able to get out early and you're able to sell out all your, uh, your delicious food today and every day this week. And um, if you have any questions for Mr. Jubes, make sure to, to get with him on his social media, his phone number. They're there. And thank you so much, Mr. Jubes. Listen, thank you all. Thank you all for having me. Thank you, Brother Daryl, for thinking enough of the little country kid to uh, give me a shot to, to meet great people. Uh, I, I just love people. I, I love people, and, and I believe uh, I'm here to, to help people. I, I try to wave my hand in the community as much as uh, I possibly can, so I'm thankful. You, you had a question, Brother Daryl? I was wondering, did, Denise, did, do we have anybody writing any questions? Uh, no, we have uh, Angela on uh, Facebook Live that she wants to join the chamber, which is great. Um, I will get with Angela after this um, to join the chamber. But if anybody out there is asking and wondering how to join our chamber and how to get on these webinars, um, just email me call, uh, or call me and we can get something sorted out. But no, no questions on my end. I wanted to make note for people from uh, Stop Six from the area that uh, Jubes is located in the old Big John's, if you're old as I am, you know what Big John's barbecue was on Edgewood Terrace. And if you're a little younger, it's the old Floyd's uh, barbecue. That is so, right. All right. Well, you appreciate you. Hey, you thanks a lot. Continue doing well over there. All righty. I, I got to go. I just got an order for 250 uh, plates for uh, FedEx. So I guess I better get to That's work. Great. All right. See we'll you see. later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, that was awesome. Thank you, Mr. Jubes, for doing that for us. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the next portion of our webinar, which is the um, the portion that uh, my coworker, Daryl Brewer, is going to go over. Um, Daryl? Thank you, Denise. <clears throat> I'm Daryl Brewer, the Economic Development Manager for the Fort Worth Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. And today, we're going to talk about money, as near and dear to all of our hearts. And the next person on our agenda is Miss Erica Hirsch. She is with People Fund. And we all know by now that the SBA ran out of money for the Disaster Relief and CARES Act and as far as all the small businesses and so forth. But the city of Fort Worth, in conjunction with People Fund, have an answer that can help out our small businesses. You know, they're not going to give out millions of dollars at a time. That's a shot. <laughs> but they do have something to offer our local small businesses. And I'm going to let Erica go over that and tell us all about it right now. So take it away, Erica. Hey, thank you so much, Daryl. I appreciate um, you uh, just inviting me today. And I really want to say thank you to the city of Fort Worth. Uh, it was uh, Robert with Economic Development 
said, you know, hey, would People Fund be interesting, interested in partnering with the city and um, really being a relief effort to these businesses that are suffering? Because this is just a time of businesses that are, you know, being either shut down or having to pivot their business and offer, you know, to go orders or um, maybe even I had a t-shirt business that is now turned into a hand sanitizer business. So there is businesses that are, you know, doing much uh, different things than they've ever had to do before. And so what we have come together to do is just really um, provide a, a, another resource for capital um, other than uh, the Small Business Administration. And this can be in addition to that SBA, um, or it can be, um, as we know, the Small Business Administration has run out of those funds right now. We're hoping that those they do get another round of funding. Um, so we did have on our list of requirements that um, we did want these businesses to apply for the idle or the PPP funds. And that was just because we want we wanted what was best for the business, but we did change some of the wording around on that. So I, I am going to share my screen and just go over the flyer and then we'll go over the application as well. And so let's see if I can do this and hopefully I am not known for my technology friendly um, self, but here we go. Everybody see okay? Yay. Yay. All right. Okay. So this is our flyer and um, just goes over the, um, the microloan program. It's called the Fort Worth Microloan Relief Program. And it just talks about how the People Fund and the City of Fort Worth are teaming up together to provide financial assistance uh, to the small businesses in Fort Worth. So first, let's talk about that. This means that it, your business has to be in the city of Fort Worth, has to have a business residence in Fort Worth as of February, 2020. And um, you can't be in Tarrant County, um, outside the city limits of Fort Worth, you can't be in South Lake or Halton City, uh, Forest Hill, any of those surrounding areas, it has to be in the city limits of Fort Worth and in business in February of 2020. So that's gonna be the very first important piece. Um, and then just a little bit about People Fund is that we are not a bank, we are a nonprofit lender and um, we just partner with banks and other lending institutions to really um, do those loans maybe that aren't bankable and so we've been around since 1994 offering uh, these types of services. And we do offer not only this particular loan, but other loans as well. And we do offer um, these to existing businesses, new businesses and nonprofit organizations. This loan is um, for businesses or um, startup businesses or existing businesses, but is not for nonprofits, um, just businesses that were in business as of February, 2020. Um, so what are the loan terms? The terms are going to be zero payments, zero interest for the first six months. And then starting on month seven, uh, the interest rate will not be any more than 5%. So how does it be less than 5%? We do have an, a partnership with another foundation, uh, the Tory Birch um, uh, partnership, and this is for women owned businesses. So if your business is 50% or more um, owned by a woman, then you could get 2% off of that 5% rate. And so your interest rate could potentially be 3%. So that's why we're saying no more um, than 5%. Uh, so um, really low interest rates here, really long 
um, terms. And um, then um, of course there is no early prepayment penalty either. So you can always pay these off early. And um, the loan amounts do go up to 50,000, but we do want these um, amounts, we, we have something in our contract where we want 60% um, of these loans to the amounts to be 15,000, that's one five or less, um, so that we can have the money stretch a little bit further. And we also want um, those 60% 60, 60 or, or more to go to minority owned businesses as well. And um, so who is eligible to apply? We talked about the businesses being in Fort Worth and they have to have suffered a temporary loss of revenue due to COVID-19. So have been shut down, um, have not been able to receive that income that they are used to because of COVID-19, something that they, they are not able to pay these bills um, due to COVID-19. So not that, hey, I want to refinance some higher debt um, because, you know, not to take advantage of the system, but, but really have, have had a suffering loss because of this virus, okay? Um, also, applicants um, will have, have had applied already for EIDL or PPP, and we did reword this on our website um, to where um, if you, you know, are not able to do this, it's okay. We just wanted what was best for the business and um, to be able to get some forgivable uh, low interest funding from the business would, you know, that could go in addition to this funding, this funding would have been great for a business owner. And what are the loan requirements? So, you do need to have a credit score of at least 600 or above. And um, this was as of 131-2020. And let's talk a little bit more about that. We don't want any late payments within the last three months, and that's from now. But if it's due to the COVID, um, then we are not going to uh, worry about about that. So we can go three months back more. Uh oh, are y'all seeing me kind of go like this? I was okay. Um, then uh, we also look for collections. We don't really want any collections or charge offs in the last three years. If they are, and there's an extenuating circumstance, or if there, if you have paid it off, or are going to make a payment arrangement on that then totally fine, we, we can accept that. And uh, the city has a requirement that they want you to be current on city and county property taxes. So let's look at the application. So I've had some questions about how do you apply for the loan? I've gone to your website and I don't see a city of Fort Worth application um, itself. So am I missing anything? You're not missing anything at all. We want you to fill out our normal loan application. And when I go in there and I see that your business uh, it was is in the city of Fort Worth, you're automatically put into this loan program. So you're not missing anything, I promise. This is our normal loan application, peoplefund.org. And you are, this is our COVID-19 relief, got all of the coronavirus resources here. You're just gonna go here to get a loan. And you could actually type, get a loan up here, peoplefund.org, get a loan. And it'll take you right here to this tab. And you say, apply for a loan. And see so this big tab right here, click here to get started, you click there. And it's gonna ask you these three questions here. Are you an entrepreneur in Texas? And you say yes. And then are you past due on any child support student yeah. loans or government guaranteed loans? You hopefully say no. And then do you have any civil judgments or tax liens? And hopefully you say no. Those are just three pre 
uh, loan or pre-loan questions that we ask you. And if you pass those three questions, it'll, it'll make you go forward onto the loan application. And that is it. Once the loan application is submitted, somebody will contact you within 48 hours with the documents list and we will be able to move forward with the process. So what questions does anyone have for me? Denise? We don't have any questions at this time on our Facebook Live or on the chat. Does anybody have any questions? So Erica, generally speaking, are your um, credit terms more difficult, about the same as any other financial institutions credit terms out there? That is a great question. So I would say we are a little bit more lenient than a traditional bank. So like I said, we will start right now. This program is looking for a 600 and above. And we are saying no collections or charge offs in the last three years, no late payments in the last three months. And we will, of course, make exceptions if somebody has something in their past or if they are working on those items. And so if, if you go to a traditional bank, they normally, you know, don't want any of those items or, you know, it needs to be in um, maybe the last five to seven years, you know, so um, there are different and it needs to be, you know, a 640 and above or a 700 and above. So it, it all depends on the, the lending institution that you go to. And of course, the amount that you're asking for as well. That's always going to be the, the big uh, deter factor determiner right there is, is the amount. Do these loans have need any, the, any collateral? No, not, no. If, if you have something available for collateral, it does say in there that um, we could um, take it if, if you have something available. Um, really, the only things that we would accept as collateral would be maybe if you had, I don't know, a, a vehicle, something with a title owned free and clear. Even then, we take a KBB trade-in value and it needs to be uh, something that that is not, you know, 20 years old and has some some value to it. And it needs to be owned free and clear. Um, we will put an all business assets lien on the business. We always do that no matter what. But other than that, we're not we don't take um, you know, your children's first firstborn or uh, your jewelry or your furs or anything like that. So will, a, will I need to have a, do a personal guarantee? Let's say I'm a uh, yes. LLC, I'm an LLC, I got a, I'm, a, I'm a corporation, I'm an S Corp, I did all that stuff, so y'all wouldn't be bothering me personally. But. We will be bothering you with a personal guarantee, yes. Why well, I go get all this good credit and stuff for my business? I know, I know, yeah. I'm sorry. So there, uh, there are a couple of questions. Um, Felicia's asking, do they do they check business credit? We do check business. No, 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 no. We check personal transunion credit. We don't check business credit. So no business credit. No. And so we have another question um, talking about exclusively for nonprofit. Um, does it include nonprofit or is it just all like what kind of businesses? The partnership with the city of Fort Worth does not include nonprofits, but people fund, we do fund to nonprofits, just not in this particular partnership. Okay. Thank Our you. interest rate for that for nonprofits is 8% fixed and we do loans up to 50,000. Okay, great. That was great information. Um, I think that's all the questions I have on my end, what I can see. Okay. So, um, Erica White, since we have Young here, do you want to talk about, right quick, 
some of the other loans you guys provide like on a regular basis since we're on here? <laughs> sure, yeah, thank you. I would be happy to do that. Yeah, so this one is, is of course the micro loan, it's up to 50,000. And then another loan that really is, used to be my bread and butter that I did all the time is called the Community Advantage Loan. And that one is 50,000 to 250,000. And it's really, you know, a lot focused on maybe a startup business that wants, you know, maybe they want to lease a space, do some leasehold improvements, or it's that existing business that wants to do some improvements to their space or wants to refinance um, some higher business debt. And um, the interest rate on that is prime plus five. And so that rate right now is eight and a quarter. And um, right now, if we get any of those loans closed before, I think the end of September, the SBA is paying the first six months of those payments for the borrower. So it is a really good time to get in and get those loans done. And what kind of credit, um, credit requirements? It's about the same, about the same as our other ones, you know, about a 600, you need to have no collections, no charge offs. Okay. And what's that loan call again? It's called the community advantage and, and same, same application. So always just go to our website and fill out the application. Do they need to put a note on their community advantage or something somewhere? No, because we always call everybody within 48 hours and we just have a we just have a, a phone conversation with everybody and just kind of get you know go over the application and, and get what their needs are are you guys backed up like the unemployment people we are a little bit backed up because of that fort worth partnership <laughs> but what that means is instead of two people making those calls we have four csrs and two loan officers making those calls now <laughs> <laughs> but you're still making the call in about 48 hours still? We are still trying to make those calls within 48 hours. Yes. Okay. Our director of lending is like, we said we'd make those calls within 48 hours. <laughs> well, all right. So we have one more question. Um, it says, are any of these funds allocated for at-risk zip codes like 76104? And what's the percentage rate of for nonprofits? So that's a great question about those, uh, those zip codes, yes. So like I said, we have 60% of this partnership is really, uh, we, we want it to go to these, uh, the, not necessarily this certain zip code, but we want it to go to um, low to moderate income, to um, you know minority. So, could it go to that zip code? Yes. And we also have other partnerships with the city of Fort Worth in those zip codes for healthy food financing initiative. And so, yes, absolutely. Um, for nonprofit, we've talked about that already in this um, webinar. We This partnership isn't for nonprofit organizations, but we do have other um, access to nonprofit programs and um but not uh through not through this program but that interest rate is eight percent all right great thank you i think that's all the questions for now okay. <laughs> thank you all right erica we appreciate you uh being on and giving us all that great information can you hang on I in sure case you have a question later sure okay awesome so next we're going to pull up um, Ms. Felicia Jeffries. She's the owner of Moore Financial Services, and she's going to talk to us about some, pull up some grant information that maybe we may not be aware of. Felicia, talk to us. Hey, how are y'all doing today? Great, great. 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 Thanks so much for having me on. I really appreciate that. So um, there is alternate money available to business owners that's not in the form of loans of course loans have to be paid back but this is grant money and grant money does not have to be paid back once you're approved for it 
So I'm going to share my screen because this money is available to all types of businesses as far as in different locations as well. So I'm going to pull up my internet here. Can you all see my screen? No. Nope. You can't. Okay, let me see here. At the, there you go. We see your screen now. Okay, so can you see Mark Cuban? Yes. Okay, you see Mark Cuban, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize this bit. Maximize it. So there's a website called grantwatch.com that business owners can go to. And what that does is it posts the latest grants that are available across the United States and in different jurisdictions and localities. So this is one example, for example, um, here's a grant for grants to USA business owners for relief from the COVID-19 virus. The deadline to apply is April 23rd. You can click on view full grant. Now this is just teaching you how to do this and you do have to subscribe if you want to subscribe to this. You can. Okay, so I am going to type in this Ink Magazine article. This is through Ink Magazine. And this gives a list of general grants that are available. So what I did was I Googled small business grants for companies hit by COVID-19. And the Inc. Magazine article is on the first Google search page. You click on that and it goes to a list of general grants. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation, they have a small, safe small business fund. It provides up to $5,000 for businesses that employ between three and 20 people. The application goes live April 20th. So the application is available now. You all want to apply for that money ASAP because it's going to run out. Also, Facebook has grants that are available. They're funding 34 different locations. Um, what you want to do is you'll click on that and you'll apply for notifications. Facebook will send you notifications when they open up the grant availability for your area. If, you're, if you advertise with Google, Google is given $340 million in advertising grants. So you can check your Google advertising page and see if they credited your account. Because you might have a credit on there. Verizon Wireless, GoFundMe, and there are various state grants that are also listed. We're in Texas. I'm going to point out the Texas Assist Her Emergency Relief Grant because that one is for women-owned businesses. Be careful about this grant. You have to follow the instructions to a detail or else they'll throw your grant application out. They, they don't want no more than 10 pages. Everything has to be uploaded in the PDF format. So just make sure you read the directions, okay? 
So just go down this list and just start applying. If it applies to you, apply for it. You never know what might happen. Another thing I want to point out is that a lot of times when you're applying for grants, they will check to see how credible your business is. So make sure you have um, your business is active in the state. Uh, and what I mean by active is this. You go on to the Secretary of State website or the Comptroller's website, and you see if your business is listed as an active business. That's if you have an LLC or a corporation. If your business is an active, you'll want to bring your business into active status by filing the necessary paperwork. If you are not sure about how to go about checking your business's status, send me a message or a Facebook and I'll be glad to check that for free for you. That's all I have for now. Okay, Felicia, we thank you for that, uh, that, that posting. Uh, um, Denise, do we have any questions about any of those grants or anything? And, and Felicia, can you give out that page again? Yes, uh, this is, let me see if I can minimize this. So what they want to do is it's an ink magazine article, Google search small business grants for companies hit by COVID-19. Okay, I got you understand. And then you're looking for the Inc. Magazine article. Yes, I'll post it on um, my page and I'll send you a link to it to post on the Chamber's website. If you like. No, that'd be great. You send it to me, I appreciate it. We'll get it, we'll get it out there. Okay. And, Denise, do we have any other questions um, from yes, my... We have a, a, a couple. Um, if you can um, exit out of screen share, Felicia, please. Okay, so on our Facebook Live, we don't have anything, but on our chat, we have Erica asking, are these for nonprofit and for-profit businesses affected by COVID-19? As far as the grants? Yes. Some of them are available to the profits and some are not. She would just have to check to see um, if they if they are for the profits or not. Okay. Felicia, Felicia, you're still sharing your screen. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> just, yeah, put, oh, um, okay. Yeah, technical, I got you. We, <laughs> um, we have three questions from Doris Benjamin. I think these are for Erica. Give me a second. These are for Erica. Um, are you involved with any of the SBA stimulus loans like the Paycheck Protection Loan? <laughs> we are involved in the Paycheck uh, the Protection Program. Um, we, of course, it's out of funds right now. Uh, we have heard that we are expecting a second round of funding coming soon, um, but they are, um, we are giving those top priority to existing clients at this time. And we expect that those, when the second round of funds is opened up, that the funds that we have available for that program is going to run out very quickly. So my advice to people that have either applied for the PPP or have not applied for the PPP um, and want to is that, um, first of all, you have to know that you qualify for that. So um, you have to be, you know, a, a business with W-2 employees, um, 
And um, so apply either at your tra traditional bank um, where you have a, a, an existing relationship. So um, that, that's my advice there. So um, these are all from the same person from Doris Benjamin. Um, mm -hmm. So the next one is, have you done loans prior to COVID in Fort Worth? If so, how many? <laughs> yes. yes, I, I actually, many? I haven't how many? in office. Yeah. Are you new to this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been in Fort Worth, I think about five and a half years. And I have an office um, inside the, the Gwynn complex, um, right uh, across in the economic development department. Um, so um, I, I'm not too new to Fort Worth, I don't think, um, but, and uh, I've been with People Fund um, almost eight years. So I, I love Fort Worth and the, the community there. So, yeah. About how many loans have you? Uh... Oh, how many <laughs> loans have I done? Oh my gosh, I, about, I don't millions of, of dollars in, in loans uh, for Fort Worth. And since, since we opened up the Fort Worth office, I used to be in the Dallas office and the, the I know, Let's right, the bad word. Um, we had one loan officer for all of DFW and Tarrant County was, was getting ignored because there was a lot of, of loans coming in to Dallas. And so we decided that Fort Worth needed a loan officer. And so that's how I got my job over here. And since coming over to Fort Worth, Fort Worth has been one of the top producing offices in, for People Fund. Um, it's either been, I think, number one or number two since we opened this, this office. So that tells you how many small businesses and what the need is for uh, Fort Worth and Jarrett County businesses here. Um, so there really is a, a need for you know non-traditional funding here in Fort Worth. And so I'm I'm very excited and, and proud to be here. Yeah. Hey Erica, um, how much does off the top of your head does people fund loan? Are y'all just in Dallas, Fort Worth? Are you in the state of Texas? Kind of what do y'all loan? You know, because people may not have heard of you guys. Sure, we're we're in an, all of the state of Texas, and I think that we have nine offices across the state now. And uh, annually, we do about thirteen million um, a a year, uh, is is what we do. And in in the the Fort Worth office, uh, my goal is uh, about about two million a year. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So one more question. Um, you already answered this, but it says, if you are not involved in the government stimulus program, do you recommend any banks that is open to special populations? Yeah, I, I, would, I would suggest some of the smaller community banks, um, because the larger banks are probably going to have more um, applications already that they have not worked yet in their queue. So, you know, go on sba.gov and look at, they have something called a resource guide. And my, my email is ehirsch, E, and then my last name, H-E-R-S-H, at peoplefund.org. So if you need me to send you a copy of that resource guide, I can. Um, in whatever city that you are in, you can look up an SBA uh, bank that, well, once you hear of that second round, you can find a bank and or some type of lending institution and, and fill out an application. So um, on that note, um, I'm recommending that you don't wait to see if they got money or not. Because nine, yeah, nine times out of 10, yeah, nine times out of 10, that money is going to happen. So uh, you want to go ahead and develop your relationship with uh, with the bank. And a lot of times, the small community banks have been really ahead on this particular uh, lending opportunity. So I agree. Yeah. 
Denise, we have any other questions? Nope, not at this time. I think that was all the questions. Okay, so let me just go over a couple of things. Um, I just want our, our viewing audience to know, I keep hearing people uh, who are independent contractors and you own a business, et cetera, saying, you know, there's no money for us, there's no money for us. So besides the loans what we're talking about right now, I do want you to know that you are eligible for unemployment benefits, not necessarily the state unemployment, although this money is administered by the state unemployment, which would be Texas Workforce Commission. So what you are eligible for is the pandemic unemployment assistance claim. Pandemic unemployment assistance claim. The federal government is providing $600 per week under that, and that's part of the CARES Act. So this part I don't think is run out of money because <clears throat> I hadn't heard that. But that's what you are um, applying for. And also I was told that the minimum you get total is about $800 because there's a $207 a week minimum that you get plus the $600. So there's about $800. And what I would suggest to you if you will go on, I think we have it on our Facebook page, Denise. Um, if not, I'll need to get with you and so we can make sure we get it on there. Um, there is a a, face, a webinar with one of the congressmen from um, Arlington with a representative from Texas Workforce Commission, not the local, but from the state. And he talks specifically about these particular items and it's the pandemic unemployment assistance claim. That's what you want to do. You want to feel, and if you have, and you want to go ahead and fill out your request online, you want to get that done. I know sometimes if you're trying to do this online or if you're trying to call that because of so many people, you know, things crash, slow down, all that good stuff. So you just try to do it, you know, at an odd hour, early in the morning, middle of the night online, that sort of thing. They have ramped up to seven days a week from seven in the morning to seven at night to try to handle the uh, applications. So I definitely want to make sure people are aware of that. And finally, we know we have to work together in our community. The chambers, this is one of the events that the chambers having. But every week I send out uh, about five bids, you know, for contracts with uh, construction and so forth. And I send them out to about 75 African American contractors in the DFW area. So you can go on to our membership page, to our page at fwmbcc.org. You can look under economic development. You see bids from the city of Fort Worth, Fort Worth Housing Solutions, Tarrant County, et cetera. So go ahead and take advantage of that. I'm going to let Denise, if you will, um, I wanted to ask you about the membership page, part of the part of our uh, website for people who are looking for businesses, for our members. So maybe they're looking for a restaurant, et cetera, and they can go in our directory. Yes, so uh, one of the benefits of being part of the chambers that you're listed under our directory, if you go onto our website, it's www.fwmbcc.org. It's an acronym for Fort Worth Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce um, .org. Under the first tab, I think it's, uh, it's membership. So under the first tab, you'd be able to, if you're not already a part of our chamber, to join our chamber because our chamber does a lot of things. Um, we try to um, be there for our members and try to help them any way we can, especially during this time. Um, we're here for, to advocate for you and your business and in the community. So um, lots of benefits being part of the chamber and just supporting um, businesses basically. So under that tab, you're able to join and you're able to see a member, a member directory. So if you go to the directory, um, you would be able to put in any keyword or word like restaurants or uh, I don't know, law firms or literally anything that you're trying to look for that's part of our chamber, you go on our directory and you'll be able to see our active members on there and their contact information. Um, so that's under the first tab, membership, it's called member directory. And um, yeah, 
So uh, if you are confused about how to join, um, we do have an online application on the website, as well as an application that you're, you're able to download and you can either mail it into us or uh, email it to me. Either way, um, just give me uh, a call or uh, email me and I'll be able to help you do that. So I'm here to help. Awesome. So with that, I want to thank our guest today, uh, Erica Hurst. She's a lending manager, is that correct? A lending yes. manager for People Fund. Mm -hmm. And she's in the Fort Worth office. We also have with us Felicia Jeffries, the owner of More Financial Services. So we appreciate you guys. In fact, uh, Felicia, if you want to give out your information and, and then we'll let Erica give out her uh, website information, et cetera. Felicia? Thank you. So if you are want to contact me, you can reach me at 888-387-1117. Also, you can contact us through our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash biz, B-U-S, matters, M-A-T-T-E-R-S. We handle all, all, all sorts of uh, business matters and uh, we'll help you get through this as well in collaboration with the Chamber of Commerce. We're, we're all here to support you. Awesome. Erica? Yes, thank you so much for having me on here today. I really appreciate it. And my contact information is 682-207-2219. Uh, That's my direct line. And then our website is peoplefund, F-U-N-D, and then dot org. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, Erica. That ends the economic development portion of this webinar. And I'm going to hand it back to my co-worker, Denise. Thank you. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, thank you to our special guests. Thank you, Daryl. Um, for joining us today. If any members out there or any businesses in the community want a uh, opportunity to highlight their business during our weekly webinar, we have these webinars every Tuesday at three o'clock. They're on Zoom or on Facebook Live. So even if you couldn't catch it today, it's gonna be on our, the video is on our Facebook. The Facebook Live video stay on there so that you can watch it later on. Um, if you have any questions about how to join uh, the chamber, let me know. Um, send us a message on Facebook, email us. Uh, if you're interested in being highlighted, you can send us a message on Facebook. We'll get with you and we'll see y'all next time. So thank you Bye. so much. Y'all be safe out there. Goodbye.